So today we're going to look at how we can expand the storage on our ONN 4K streaming box. Now the ONN 4K streaming box, like most of the Google boxes, only come with eight gigabytes of storage and not much of that is usable anyway because a lot of it's already used by the pre-installed system. Now some boxes only come with four gigabytes. Now I think this guide is also applicable to most Android and Google TVs too. So just because I'm doing it on one of these Walmart ONN boxes doesn't mean to say that that's the only box you can do it on. Although I can't guarantee it because I haven't got any of those other boxes. But uh, let us know in the comments down below if you've had any luck following this guide on other boxes or other Android or Google TVs too. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, I'm going to expand the storage, my measly eight gigabytes of storage on my ONN 4K streaming box. Now, I'm going to expand it by four times. You can go larger. I think you can probably go up to a, a two terabytes, I'd imagine, even maybe even more. But let us know in the comments down below how far you've gone with yours. Today, what I've got is I've got a 32 gigabyte stick. So like I say, this box has eight gigabytes inside it. So this has got 32, so it should expand the storage quite a bit. I mean, apps don't take a great deal of space anyway. So what we're going to need to be able to do this is we're going to need an OTG cable. That's one of these cables. It's got a USB-A in the middle of the lead and it's got the micro USB male and female, the same as what you've got here, this this type of connection here, you've got a male and a female. Now, I've used this from uh, one I bought for my Fire TV stick. That works with it. So uh, if you've got an old one knocking around, then uh, you can use that. If not, check out the description of the video below and there's some links down there. One of the links actually shows you where you can get one of these OTG cables from. So what you're going to need to do, first of all, is we're going to need to unplug the power from the box and then we're going to have to find the female end and plug the power into the female end. Now, it only goes one way round and then what we're going to do is we're going to plug the other end, the male end, into the ONN box. There we go. So what we've got here is we've got the USB socket there. And let's say the cable runs through, the power runs through, through the USB and then out back into the ONN box. So let's just wait for that to boot back up, shall we? When Once it's booted up, we need to get our pen drive or hard drive ready. Now, please bear in mind anything on the hard drive or the pen drive that you're about to plug in, it is going to be wiped. You are going to lose it. I can't stress that enough. If there's anything important on there, make sure you back it up now because it will completely wipe this. And I've had people in the past where I've done guides on this and they've, they've ended up putting in the comments, oh, I didn't realize it was going to lose everything even though I've told them. So that's why I'm stressing because people often don't listen to what I say. This is very important. Anything that's on here is going to be wiped. So please make sure if you've got anything important on there that you've got a backup of it before plugging it in. So once you've backed up your drive and you prepare or you're prepared to lose everything, then plug it into the USB A socket. Now it only goes one way. So there you go. I've plugged it in and then just leave it for a few seconds. And as you can see here in the top right hand corner, it says USB drive, hold the home button for more. So I'm going to do as it says. And there you go. That's come up. So as you can see down here with the blue dot, you've got USB drive select to set up. So I went down using the downward part of the ring on the remote control, highlighted it, middle button, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to set up as device storage middle button. So here it says format as device storage. This requires the USB drive to be formatted to make it secure. After securely formatting, this drive will only work with this device. Formatting erases all data currently stored on the drive. 
to avoid losing the data, consider backing it up. So anything on there, I'm going to repeat myself, anything on there after you go down to format and press the middle button will be lost. So make sure that you've got a backup copy of it if there's, if there's anything important on there. So go down to format, middle button, and there you go. It's saying format in USB drive. This may take a moment. Please don't remove the drive. So don't remove the drive. Don't remove the power. Patience is what you need right now, because depending on how large your drive is, depends on how long it's going to take to format. Now, mine's a relatively small drive by today's standards. It's an old drive that I don't use anymore. So it's only 32 gigabytes. So it's it's not going to hopefully take too long. But if you've got a one terabyte drive, that could take an age. You know, it could be uh, up to an hour, could be even more, to be quite honest with you. So mine is still formatting, as you can see here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's formatted to save you from having to hang around. There you go. So it's now formatted. That took a about two to three minutes, and that was a 32 gigabyte drive. So now it's saying, do you want to move your data to the USB drive? Move your photos, files, and app data to USB drive. This may take a few minutes. Some apps won't work correctly during the move. So we've got two options here, move now or move later. So if you want to move the apps later, then uh, you can you can do that. Or if you don't want to move all the apps later on in this video, I'm going to go through a step which enables you to move just selected apps. So I'm going to say now move now. But if you want to just remove certain apps, then select move later and whiz forward on the video and we'll go through the steps on how you can just move selected apps. So, OK, for the benefit of this video now at the moment, I'm going to say move now and move everything across. So highlight that middle button straight away there. It said it could not migrate. So not sure why. But if it was migrating, then this would probably take a little while to, to do that. So uh, let's just go down and have a look at the storage on there. So I can't remember where that is. There you go in system and then storage. There we go. We've got our USB drive there <clears throat> and we've got another option there. Migrate data to this storage. So let's select that. See if, see if it's going to migrate now. Like Move now. No, it couldn't migrate it. OK, then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move swiftly on to uh, how to migrate certain apps. So if we go up to apps in the settings here and say, for instance, I've got this app here, the BBC iPlayer. I want to move that to uh, the USB storage. I don't want it taking up space. So let's just see. It's, it's taking up 22 megabytes of storage on the internal storage. So highlight storage used. Now, normally here, it would ask you if you wanted to move that to the internal or external storage, but it's not come up with that. So what we need to do is we need to let's press the back button. Let's just go back to the main menu. So we're all starting from the same place. Let's go across to the settings cog just up there, middle button, and then go down to system, middle button, and then go down to about, and then go across to the right, and then go down to Android TV OS build, and just press the middle button on the remote control. Keep tapping it like a mouse until you see you're now a developer come up, then stop. OK, so the next thing we need to do is we need to press the back button on the remote once and then go down and find developer options, then go across and then go virtually all the way down to the bottom. And what we want to find is, is this here false allow apps on external makes any app eligible to be written to external storage, regardless of manifest values. Now, some apps developers have expressly said, no, this app shouldn't be moved onto external storage. Could be for all sorts of reasons. It could be that the app doesn't function properly on external storage. It might function slowly, but turn that on and then press the back button and then go up and press the back button again. Go up to apps, middle button 
and then go across to the app you want. So BBC iPlayer, let's go into that. Go down to storage used, middle button, and there we go. So at the moment, it's on the internal shared storage. But if I want to move this to the USB drive, I just go down to USB drive, middle button, and there you go. It's now moving the BBC iPlayer and it says don't remove the drive during the move. The BBC iPlayer app on this device won't be available until the move is complete. And there you go. It has now been moved to the USB drive. So and it tells you there. It actually tells you on screen 22.48 megabyte used in USB drive. So let's just see if that app now opens. Let's just go back to for you and there it is the bbc iplayer there middle button and here we go it's loading up the bbc iplayer so i haven't yet signed into it but the app does work now if you want to move that app back for any reason let's go up to the settings cog again and into it and then go into apps and then select the app that we want, then go down to storage used, middle button, and there you go. So we've got two options there, internal shared storage or external or USB drive. So I'm gonna select internal shared storage to move it back. And again, it's now moving it back and it says, don't remove the drive. And there you go, it's it's already, it's quite, quite quick to transfer back. So it says there's storage used, 22.53 megabytes used in internal shared storage. So there you go, that guide showed you how you can add extra storage for apps, etc. on to your ONN box. Unfortunately, as it said earlier on, you won't be able to use that in any other device. I am looking at ways that you can perhaps put TV series and movies onto a USB drive and plug it in so that you can watch them when you're on the go, perhaps for instance, when you're on holiday and you can't get sort of certain services. I'm gonna look at that and if I can work out how you can do that, then I will do a video on that later. So please do make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel to find out about all my latest videos as soon as they're released. I hope you like this video and if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or have a look in the description down below if you wanna have a look through my Amazon shop or you're in the market for a new VPN, a Fire Stick, a Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, even like one of these OTG cable, that's down there. So have a look down in the description down below. Donating, buying or subscribing really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money.